Loading a drum kit into Battery 3 takes only seconds. Simply click the drop down menu here at the top of the window and choose a kit. Battery 3 comes with a huge selection of drum kits. Here, you have acoustic kits that were recorded cleanly. Production kits that have been made to sound right for specific genres. Percussion kits for a wider variety of sounds. Electronic and synthetic kits for either a retro or modern sound. And a few special kits including this world music kit. There's also a selection of kits that are new to Battery 3. You should spend some time and go through all of these kits to really get an idea of the depth of this drum library. Here's a quick way to switch kits once you have one loaded. At any time, click either the left or right buttons here to swap out the kit you're currently playing for another one in that folder. This is especially handy if you have a MIDI drum loop coming into Battery 3 from your sequencer or external MIDI device, and you just want to preview a bunch of kits quickly. One last thing about kits. I've always found it useful in nearly all audio software, but plugins and virtual instruments especially, to start with the preset, make specific changes, and then save a new preset to preserve those changes, with a helpful file name. This helps you build your own customized library of sounds alongside the built-in presets, and if you're doing a lot of music production, this can save you hours. Again, once you have your kit loaded and customized, you're ready to save it. Just head up to Save As from the File menu, and in a new folder, perhaps called Presets, save this kit with a good file name. Another quick way to load a drum kit into Battery 3 is using the browser. We'll be using the browser quite a bit in this tutorial, so don't worry if we're not covering every aspect of it right now. Use the folder structure display on the left to browse within the Battery 3 library and simply double click on a KT3 battery kit file to load it instantly. One more thing, if you load up a battery kit file that has been moved or has missing samples, this is what you'll see. Here you can see the sample name and its status. In this case, all the samples are missing. You can also see each sample's folder path, which is where Battery 3 last retrieved the samples. If you've collected several samples from different folders or drives, it may be useful to use the Locate button here, which lets you locate each one, one by one. Down here, you can choose to abort loading this drum kit if you've decided that you either don't have the samples for it anymore, or don't want to use that battery kit anyways. If you know where the Samples folder is exactly, use the Browse Folder button. If the missing samples aren't important to you, or would be replaced immediately anyways, use the Skip Missing button. You can check for any duplicates in the file at this point as well. The fastest and easiest way, however, is to simply click Search File System. This initiates an intelligent search process on your local file system, starting in your Battery 3 folder, and working its way backward. Every time I've needed it, this function has worked perfectly for me. There, Battery 3 found all the missing samples for me, and loaded each of them into the cells. That's it for loading kits. Stay tuned for some tips on how to get around Battery 3 easily.